Hey Spirit Tribe, Gigi here with Spirit Readings and I'm so glad and so happy that you guys um, are able to join me here today. Um, it is a brand new month. Um, we are now in the month of April. We are in the fiery sun sign of Aries and the f this new moon is in Aries as well. So lots of energy all around us. Okay. And this reading is going to be for the general collective. It is for every single one of us. So, you know, remember to take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. You know, if it doesn't apply, you just go on ahead and you let it fly, y'all. Um, <clears throat> You may notice that I am talking a little different. Um, I did have all of my teeth removed. Um, I do shuffle off camera now the cards um, due to the fact of my neurological issues with the tremors and with my brain oftentimes not recognizing my own arms, hands, legs, and feet. It just makes it a little easier on me, I guess, is how I should say that. I just like to throw all of that out there in case this is the first time you're catching a reading with me. Um, if you're new or if you've been here a while, I wanna say hello and welcome. I am so glad that you guys are able to join me here today. I will be using <clears throat> the Everyday Witch Tarot, the Tea Leaf Fortune Cookies, cookie, <laughs> tea leaf fortune cards if i can get my words out right um the queen of the moon oracle and the moonology oracle deck for this reading so all right let's dive on in here what this new moon has in store for us and we have the queen of cups coming through here so you know this is about finding those people who um truly nurture us you know our minds our bodies our souls and you know spending some quality time with those people you know this is soul food here you guys and uh that we need for the journey up ahead as we keep going so you know, we're going to learn that blessed are those that give with their whole heart and don't hold, you know, anything back. They're wide open. Open yourself up to the gifts that are waiting for you. Yes, beautiful, wonderful, amazing energy. And, you know, when you look, I don't know how well you can see this, but the Queen of Cups is pregnant, y'all. So, you know, <laughs> could be could be someone out there expecting that comes across this or you know you're pregnant with good ideas y'all but spirit drew my attention to you know this very loving very nurturing energy you know for some I'm hearing call your mama call your mama is what I'm hearing here so that might be for someone in particular I may have to call my mama later I love my mama all right our energy during this new moon we do have the hermit coming in here which is a number nine so you know during this fiery new moon and this is earthy Virgo energy here we may go within, you know, just a bit before we set out on our great journey. Um, you know, take this time to realize that there is great wisdom in the moments of silence. And, you know, that being alone, being by yourself is not the same as being lonely. You know, you could be in a crowd and be lonely or be by yourself and be like, hey, this is, I'm grooving with this, you know. So learn to enjoy your own company after all you are the longest relationship that you will ever have so you know get in tune with your star player you guys really get to know yourself inside and out and from all angles 
All right, what we need to be open to during this new moon, we do have the full coming in here now, which is a zero, which I always think of, um, you know, infinity, endless possibilities are some words here. You know, this is opening up to all of the wonderful, amazing opportunities that are coming our way with this new moon. You know, taking that leap of faith and daring to chase chase your dreams no matter what anyone else has to say about it you know this is your journey and your trip around the sun and no one can do it for you or you know take it away from you unless you let them and you know it, it's special and it's unique to each and every single one of us you guys you know it's it's up to us what we decide to do with it so all right something that wants to manifest during this new moon we do have the ten of pentacles coming in here and i love this you guys you know this is that happily ever after um and however it looks to you personally and you know this is what's wanting to manifest in a really really big way here you guys like huge huge you know, so keep in mind that, that abundance comes in so many different ways. And then, you know, open yourself up so that you can welcome that natural flow and be blessed in ways that you weren't even expecting. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love that so much. That's one of my favorites. All right, so how we can focus our attention to bring our desires into reality we have the nine of swords showing up here now so you know what we give our time our attention and our focus to you guys is what grows so you know it's time to shake off the old pity party what was me outlook during this fiery new moon you know, it can't rain all of the time, and it's always, always darkest before the dawn, you guys. So, you know, you can rise above anything that is set before you as long as you put your mind to it. You know, swords is that air energy, which is the power of the mind. So, you know, you first, you fight your battles first in your mind, you know. Most of the time, I'll say, sometimes it's just you got to spring to action right away. But, you know, in the times where you, it's not like that and you, you, it's usually starts in your mind first. So, all right, we're going to get some tea leaf. Um, up first is the moon because the moon is all about changes in our lives and you know, whatever phase, whatever cycle she is in at the time. So what is it that we need to know about these changes that the moon is bringing in? And up first we have the yoke feeling tied down or frustrated. My goodness, that's never good. Um, we have the table here, hard work ahead. We have bird perched here that's kind of a hard word for me to say with no teeth bird perched waiting for news package or letter Ooh, okay doing some waiting there a little bit and we also have the crown coming in here honor and respect will come to you so um how is all of this working together here right so you know when you work through these feelings of being tied down and frustrated you know you're in that nine of swords energy you guys that woe is me right um you know you cut the strings you know you decide i'm not going to be anyone else's puppet and when you do that, you're going to find your freedom and your peace of mind again, you guys. You know, you're, you'll, you'll be nurtured is what I'm hearing here. So, and it may take you going within a little bit. You know, this is, what, what is that? Like in game, in goal right there, that ten of pentacles. And, you know, there's much hard work up ahead to bring your dreams to life and into reality this ten of pentacles and you know but your guides and your angels they're here to let you know you can do it 
you know, and we're here to help. All you have to do is call on us, you know, open your mouth, speak it into existence, you know. Um, otherwise, they can't act on your behalf with that, without your permission, you guys. So, um, you know, you bring so much wonderful energy to the table with you, you guys. Don't ever doubt that. You know, there's so much that you bring into each and every single situation, each and every single day. And, you know, there may be some times of waiting up ahead, which could have you feeling frustrated as well, you guys, you know, especially this fiery Aries, you know, fire signs are all about taking action, taking hold of the range, you know, don't like to wait for diddly, right? But, you know, we want what we want when we want it, after all, you know, and once this news arrives, trust that it is bringing all the honor and respect that you deserve along with it, you guys. You know, straighten your crown and carry on, my friends. You know, don't hang your head down. Don't hang your head down. You know, you weren't meant to live a life with your head hung down and hunkered in a corner somewhere. And that's what's coming through so loud and clear right now from guides and angels, you guys, is to lift your head you know, and see how beautiful, wonderful, amazing you truly, truly are. Yes, I love it. All right, our Queen of the Moon Oracle, we have the Beaver Moon coming through, and it is a 39, which can break down to a 12, which in turn breaks down to a 3, if I'm getting my math right. I got it wrong yesterday, so, and it was a simple one. <laughs> all right, and this is all about creation. So, you know, this is letting you know that you can create the destiny that you want for yourself. This Ten of Pentacles, however it looks for you personally. You know, it, it's time to be hardworking, you guys. You know, we had that come through with the table. And we all create something. And, you know, we need to realize and recognize that we have the power to create our life's masterpieces. You know, recognize that you are a mighty creator and that it's your birthright to create. So, you know, be a busy <clears throat> be busy as a beaver if I can get it out right during this new moon in Aries you guys and you know Aries is the first the first sign you guys so when you think about creation um wow that just kind of hit me right between the eyes right there all right our moonology is be bold and make the first move cardinal moon you know so Aries you know, Aries is indeed one of the cardinal signs. And, you know, you are being told that now, yes, right now, right here, right now, is the perfect time to be bold and perhaps even a little bossy. You know, take charge, y'all. Like I said, fix your crown. Um, take charge of your destiny during this new moon in Aries, you guys. You know, don't leave it up to anyone else. And in my mind's eye, I'm seeing the chariot here, you know, where you take hold of the reins and you're not turning your back on the light side or the dark side you're embracing both so that they can work for your greater good together so wow you guys I hope that this all made sense um wow I'm blown away here you guys you know so much loving nurturing energy you know but you gotta you gotta rise up you know um the world's not gonna stop for you know, anything that we have going on in our personal lives, the world just keeps on turning. And, you know, whatever this is for you personally, you guys, it's yours. You just have to get up and rise to the challenge. And what better time than now? So, all right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please leave me a comment down below and let me know, you guys. I love hearing from you and being able to interact with you as much as I am able to. I haven't posted this many readings back to back in a while and it feels really good to do so and I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, 
If you did enjoy, please smash the heck out of that like button, that old thumbs up button, you know, give it that old razzle dazzle pizzazzle there. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, that just blows me away every time I get a thumbs up, every time I get a new subscriber, every time you guys, you know, leave me comments. I absolutely love it. And another thing is, um, for those that are subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm going to start doing free 5 to 10 minute readings. Um, you must be subscribed to my channel in order to win. So um, if you're interested in that, please comment down below so I can put your name. Um, I plan to draw the person tomorrow and hopefully do the reading on Sunday for you. Um, I'm going to try to do this each and every Friday as I'm able to, you guys. It will be a video recording on any topic that you would like. It can be tarot, oracle, spirit board, pendulum, all of the above, whatever you would like for it to be. Um, or if you would even like maybe a little Reiki session with clearing your chakras, um, you know, just let me know. Um, when you win <laughs> what you would like and we'll get it recorded and it'll be private when it's uploaded and I will share the link with you and then it's up to you if you want to share the link with other people or give me permission to go ahead and make it public I leave that up to you um, it's just another way for me to give back you guys um, pour some love back into your cups as well as much as you pour into mine because I do greatly appreciate it very much. Um, wow you guys, I, I can't thank you guys enough and from the bottom of my heart I want to say thank you, blessed be, namaste, and goodbye.